In the last video, we managed to simplify our differential equation into such a form. So now what we're going to do now is that we're going to make some smart guesses. So we're going to guess that our solution u of y is going to be equal to y to the power of l plus 1 times e to the power of negative y times some function v of y. So we managed to obtain these two uh, expressions by considering how this differential equation behaves when y tends towards large and small numbers. And so by considering those cases, we will be able to guess that our function u of y should uh, behave in such a way. It should be equal to these two functions multiplied by some extra function in terms of y. So at this point, remember our ultimate goal is to find a function u of y that satisfies this differential equation. But then this is still too difficult to solve. If we manage to, uh, if we can, if we know that our differential equation looks, uh, takes on such a form, we will be able to substitute this expression back into this differential equation and then obtain a new differential equation, this time in terms of v of y, and then that differential equation might be easier to solve. And then once we solve that, once we find what v of y could be, we can just dump it back into this expression. So we can just take our solution v of y and then multiply it by these two expressions, and that would give us u of y, which is the ultimately the uh, solution that we're looking for. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to take this expression and then we're going to substitute it back into the differential equation. And hopefully we will be able to simplify things a bit, and then we will be able to obtain a new differential equation uh, 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 that is that would allow us to deduce what this function v of y should be. So now for the rest of this video, our ultimate goal is to uh, substitute this expression inside this differential equation. And you can see in order to do that, we need to take the second derivative of u of y. And so that means we need to differentiate this expression two times. And believe me when I say this, the mathematics that uh, that will occur when you differentiate this two times, it's going to get pretty ugly, so bear with me in this. So first step is that we're going to differentiate this once, so du dy, and then we're going to use the product rule. So we're going to differentiate uh, this term, and then retain this term, and then differentiate this term, and then retain this term. So by differentiating this term, we are, we are going to use the product rule the second time. So I'm going to differentiate this term first, so that will give me L plus 1 y to the power of L times e to the power of negative y. And then now I retain this term, and then I differentiate this, which is equal to negative e to the power of negative y. So I might as well put the negative sign at the front. So I have negative e to the power of negative y multiplied by v of y. And then now I retain these terms, and then I differentiate this. So this gives me dv dy. So let's try to combine some of the terms together. So du dy, du dy is equal to, so I'm going to pull out y to the power of l and e to the power of negative y outside the bracket. And then once I do that, inside here I get l plus 1, and I also get a minus y here because this is l plus 1, and I'm only pulling out y to the power of l, so I get an extra minus y times v of y. And then for the second term, I, oh, I have an extra y over here, so I get plus y dv dy. And so this is the first derivative. And now we're going to take the second derivative. And then once again, we're going to use the product rule. We're going to differentiate this first, so this gives us l y to the power of l minus 1, e to the power of negative y, and then minus y to the power of l, e to the power of negative y. So the negative sign comes from differentiating this term. And then we're going to retain these terms, so I just write these out. And then now I retain these terms, y to the power of l, e to the power of negative y, and then I differentiate these. And then differentiating this, we need to use the product, uh, product rule again, because this is also in terms of y. So differentiating this, this whole term becomes negative 1 because of the negative y, so we have negative v of y. And then we retain these terms, and then we differentiate v of y, so we get dv dy. And then now we differentiate this, once again we use uh, the product rule, so you can see that in this derivation we're making copious use of the product rule, and then we differentiate this the second time, so d squared v dy squared. So in the end you get something like this, and then of course we can simplify this. So we're going to gonna simplify this by first of all pulling out y to the power of l and e to the power of negative y. So by doing that, uh, let's consider the terms one by one. So by pulling this out, uh, you can see that 
Uh, I've pulled out an extra y to the power of l. I've pulled out an extra y term over here. So I need to compensate by giving it a backup y of the denominator. And then I've pulled out an e to the power of negative y. And then here I've pulled out everything. So this is exactly this expression over here. So I just put down negative 1. And then this will be multiplied with these terms. So v of y plus y dv dy. And here I've just pulled out these terms, so I can just write down these terms directly. So minus v of y plus l plus 1 minus y dv dy plus dv dy plus y d squared v dy squared. And so of course we can further simplify this. So y to the power of l e to the power of negative y. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to try to expand these brackets. So first, let's just combine the L with the L plus 1. So we're going to get L, L plus 1 divided by Y, V of Y. And then we're going to combine this term with this Y over here. So you, see, you can see that the Ys, they cancel out. So we're going to get a negative L, V, Y. And then we're going to continue with this. So uh, now we're going to apply this term, and then we're going to multiply it to this. So once again, the y's, they cancel out. So we're going to get an L dv dy. And then here we have a negative 1, so this is rather easy. We just apply it directly here. So we're going to get a negative L plus 1 minus y v of y. And then the negative 1 uh, will combine with this term, and then we'll get a negative y dv dy. And then for the rest of these terms, we can just copy these out. So we're going to get negative vy plus l plus 1 minus y dv dy, and then plus dv dy, and then plus y d squared v dy squared. And then now continuing on with this, we can now group some of the terms together. So first of all, I'm going to group up the terms that have a v of y attached to them. Obviously, this has a v of y attached, so I'm going to group up the coefficients. So this term I've considered. And then the second term, there's a negative l. So this is not v of y. Now, this is v of y, so I can combine these coefficients. So I get a negative l minus 1 plus y. So these terms have been considered. This is not v of y. This is another v of y term, so I can just put down the minus 1 because of the minus sign. And then the rest of these, so I've considered this, and the rest of these aren't uh, v of y terms. And the second term, we're going to group up the terms with the dv dy. And so we do something similar. There's a plus l for here, so we've considered this one. There's a negative y here, we considered this one. And here we have a plus l plus 1 minus y. We've considered these, and then we have a plus 1. And then for d square y, d square v d dy square, we only have one term. And so there we have it. So now let's try to simplify these terms inside these brackets. So now this is equal to y to the power of l e to the power of negative y. And here uh, you have negative two, and then you have negative two l, and then of course we have a plus y. We have plus l, l plus 1 divided by y times v of y. And then the second term, once again, we can combine some of these. And then you can see that uh, yeah, but all these terms actually repeat, uh, actually show up twice. So we have 2l minus 2y and then plus 2. So I can just write this out as plus 2l plus 1 minus y. So you can see that we have two L's, we have two ones, and then two negative Y's. So we just put two L plus one minus Y. And then the, these are the terms attached with a DV DY. And then finally, we have the D squared V DY squared term. And so there you have it. This is a, this is the second derivative of uh, your function U with respect to Y.